Welcome NIOS learners. My name is Sunakshi Garg. Today we shall discuss a lesson on environment management. We will discuss it in two parts. In the first part, we will talk about what is environment, causes of its degradation and effects of its degradation. In the second part, we will discuss about solutions to prevent environmental degradation and to reduce pollution. So first of all, let us define a few words like environment and environmental degradation. What is the environment? The environment is our surroundings which include all forms of life such as flora, fauna, air, water, buildings, lands, parks, vehicles and human beings. These are a few pictures depicting what the environment constitutes of. Now what is environmental degradation? It refers to any kind of unfavorable change in our surroundings. Environmental degradation can occur in air, land and water. Environmental degradation in air, here is a picture showing smog in a city which depicts environmental degradation in air. Here is a picture depicting environmental degradation in water. Here is a picture of industrial waste being discharged into a water body showing environmental degradation on land. Now we shall look at the causes of environmental degradation. The causes of environmental degradation can be listed as follows. Uncontrolled population growth, technical advancement, poor agricultural practices, poor personal habits and natural causes. Uncontrolled population growth. Increased population leads to increased demands and burdens on the environment in terms of food, fuel and space. We are very well aware that our country's population is increasing every day and it is obvious that increased population leads to increased demands in terms of food, fuel and space which leads to excessive burden on our environment. Also, more people means more demand for employment which leads to construction of more industries, dams, roads, railway tracks which in turn causes industrialization and urbanization and growth of slums and reduced forest cover, unhygienic living conditions. Now all of these affect our environment leading to its degradation. This is very well explained in the simple diagram shown. Technical advancement. Now how does technical advancement cause environmental degradation? Today there is technical advancement in all walks of life. New models of cars, telephones including cell phones and home appliances like washing machines, microwave ovens etc. are flooding the market. Our offices are also full of new gadgets. They are produced in industries which generate toxic chemical wastes, harmful gases and radioactive pollutants during their manufacturing process. These pollutants kill all forms of life in air, water and land. Thus, our environment gets degraded by these technical advancements. Industries generate toxic chemicals, harmful gases and radioactive pollutants. Vehicles like cars, trucks, trains, etc. release poisonous gases. Poor agricultural practices. Practices like overgrazing, excessive use of chemical fertilizers and pesticides, shifting cultivation, overplying and overcropping results in soil erosion and hardening. Here is a picture showing 
use of excessive chemical fertilizers and pesticides on the crops which is degrading the environment. Stubble farming. Farmers deliberately burn the agricultural residue on the land itself. It may be easy for the farmers but it is very harmful for the environment. Poor personal habits. Some of our unhygienic personal habits like spitting in public, defecating in the open, bathing and washing clothes near water sources has led to degradation of land and water. Our habits like smoking and playing loud music has led to air degradation. All these together contribute to environmental degradation. Natural causes. Sometimes nature also leads to environmental degradation. Earthquakes and volcanic eruptions give rise to harmful dusts, heat, smoke and other harmful gases. Floods, famines and strong winds lead to soil erosion and destruction of life among human beings, animals and plants. In this manner, land, air and water are all affected negatively leading to environmental degradation. Effects of environmental degradation. The effects can be stated as soil or land degradation, deforestation which is the clearing of forests, degradation of air, degradation of water and slum conditions. Soil degradation. Excessive use of chemical fertilizers, pesticides or dump wastes from mines and industries on land kills essential microorganisms in soil. Decrease in amount of microorganisms in the soil decreases soil fertility. Clearing of forests causes washing away of the topsoil and results in soil erosion. Deforestation. The process of clearing of forests is called deforestation. It causes landslides, floods and soil erosion. It also raises the level of the sea and reduces the land cover. It also results in less rainfall which leads to drying of springs, lakes and rivers. Degradation of the air can be seen via acid rain, depletion of the ozone layer, global warming, man-made disasters and diseases. Acid rain, smoke from the vehicles and industries gives rise to harmful gases which react with water vapour to form dilute acids and that comes down as acid rain. It is very dangerous for the plants, fishes and animals. Here is a picture depicting how acid rain is formed and how it causes degradation to our environment. Depletion of the ozone layer. The ozone layer protects the earth from the overexposure of harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. This ozone layer gets destroyed by harmful gases used in the refrigerators and in the fire extinguishers. Here is a picture depicting how ozone layer is protecting us from the UV rays of the sun. Global warming. Tons of gases like CO2, methane, etc. are released in the atmosphere and form a blanket around the earth called greenhouse gases. This results in an increase in atmospheric temperature and this phenomena is called global warming. Man-made disasters, nuclear bombs, terrorism and industrial slip-ups are causing more harm to mankind than any other disaster. Diseases, cough and colds, bronchitis, asthma, lung cancer and also irritations like itchings of the skin and watering of the eyes. 
degradation of water water degradation by industrial waste cuts of oxygen supply to fishes and animals living in the water and it kills them how industrial waste is degrading the water bodies and the environment here is a picture showing fish killing because of the pollution of water water borne diseases waste from the sewage is mainly responsible for most of the diseases like jaundice diarrhea and dysentery typhoid gastroenteritis and malaria slum conditions these results in unhygienic living conditions prone to high noise and pollution levels such conditions give rise to breeding grounds for chronic diseases like jaundice diarrhea and tuberculosis etc thank you